And good evening, I'm Mike Gerspan. Tonight, loved ones of a man who died in a crash after leading law enforcement in a multi-county chase on Monday night are speaking out on the kind of person their father actually was and not the man people think he is. WDHN's Aaron Dixon has a story that is all new at 6. Officials say an officer attempted to pull over William Durham in Daleville, but Durham left the scene and a chase ensued. The chase started in Dale County, running through Houston County, before coming to a stop in Geneva County as the car Durham was driving crashed on Highway 123 just north of Hartford. The suspect Durham was pronounced dead at the scene. His son Jeremy was made aware of the crash by a neighbor. He didn't have nobody there with him whenever it happened. It kills me, man, because he lived there and I lived right here. You know, he was right across the street. I've seen him every day. Law enforcement officials say Durham had an outstanding warrant for assault charges in the Daleville area. According to court records, Durham had an extensive criminal history, including drug possession, assault, and several driving infractions. His family says his criminal record does not show the kind of person their father really was. My dad's always been there for me through thick and thin. He was there for both my kids' birth, and he did not leave my side. Not one minute. And that his criminal history shouldn't define him. I guarantee you, Nobody in this planet can name somebody that's alive right now that hasn't been in trouble with the law or has gotten in trouble or slipped up in their life. His family says they were never made aware of any issues their father was having unless it had to do with a medical procedure or medical visit. As far as us kids knowing, you know how parents are. They we're invincible, aware. we're yeah. 10 foot tall and bulletproof. Y'all don't need to worry about us. Y'all do y'all. It's the parent's job to worry about the kid. Special agents with Aaliyah are currently handling the investigation into the chase and the crash. His family says they are not allowed to comment on where Durham was headed in his car or what he was doing at the time of the chase. Reporting in Dale County, Aaron Dixon, WDHN News for The Wiregrass.